to change this power steering pressure hose, we'll undo this nut there, and then we'll follow this, and it comes down right here. So it's virtually two ends of one hose. I'm gonna change my power steering pressure hose. So I'm gonna use my crescent wrench. Pop that. And then now I'm gonna hand do this. Once I get this loose, I'm gonna take it off and put a container under there to catch the power steering fluid. So now I've unhooked it, I've lifted the hose up, so. You go under the car. Pull it down here. It'll drain a lot quicker if you can get that hose down low. The next one is I need to come down here on the back of the. There we go. And let's see. There we go. So I loosened it. Now I'm hand loosening it. Um, and so this is right behind the canister. So this is gonna leak out fairly quickly here. So I'm gonna get my container ready. So I removed the back and it ended up not dripping at all. So I was able to get most of it out when I pulled the hose down. The part store to get the power steering pressure hose. So in the package I got the hose. Um, the cap and then I have the two o-rings um, gives you the instructions here first step is to lubricate the o-rings so I'll dip my finger in here and there's that slide these over the ends this one so now I have those over the ends now when I install this I'm gonna try to follow the same pattern as before so I'm gonna find my hole here. You can see right here is where we're gonna screw this into. So now that I've screwed this in and tightened this in, I'm gonna wrap this other end of the hose down here. Bring this around. tighten this one. Now what I'm going to do is tighten these down with the crescent wrench. And that's snug. And I'll come down to this one. And this one I'm going to tighten from below. Tighten this one from below. Don't over tighten it. And that one's tight. And we're done. You can see how dirty this power steering fluid is here. Dispose of this appropriately. Refill it with clean power steering fluid. Take this off. Put in my power steering fluid. Stick in. Just after putting in your fluid, check your dipstick to make sure it's leveled out and where you want it. After just changing it, your power steering might be tight. If it is, after you steer it, it'll pop. It feels like this is good. So I'm good to go already. So sometimes if you have like an airlock in there, it'll really be tight and boom, it'll pop for you once you get your power steering fluid through there. But I'm good to go. After starting it, the power steering fluid level has actually gone down as it filled up the tube, so I'll just top it off here.
and I'm at my full cold line so it's full and I'm done 907 it took me 17 minutes and it cost me about $22 probably buying the parts and everything I'm into it for about an hour's worth of time